Okay, here we are with Buckeye. We're getting ready to leave the fairgrounds here in, is it Gridley? I get so messed up because there was a place in Colorado that's very similar and I keep in my head it's, it's wired wrong. So we're in the Gridley fairgrounds with Buckeye and he has been displaced because of the fires in, in uh, the area and he would like a place to live if you are in the position to provide say a backyard maybe you have an old camper that he could reside in he does have an income stream coming in but it's not very high so there's some room there to work with him but he just needs a place because right now he's in a tent and there aren't a lot of people looking after him so he's, he's kind of being left to twist in the wind so if you know of a place in the chico area chico right yeah that uh, could uh, be a home for him. He's a pretty laid back guy. I don't think that you're gonna have any problems and it would be a really good deed for you. What do you have to say about any of that? Oh yes, my name is uh, Buckeye. I'm from the state of Ohio, uh, the Buckeye State. So and I lost my home back in Ohio in 2006 and uh, I've been homeless ever since, but I love everybody and I love to help one another as God put us here to do to help one another and love and tender care uh, though this is the way the life should be uh, the way to help one another uh, though as uh, uh, according to Jesus up there he said any of you do it unto me, you have done it to these brethren. Uh, though, and then uh, and another one is that uh, if you uh, give uh, uh, your help to anybody, you done it to me, saith the Lord. Uh, though, but I love Jesus with all my heart. He is my everlasting battery, and I love the Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus be my Lord and my God. Got a question for uh, you. I know you have more to say. I got a question for you. Hey, you've been reading in your tent, right? Yes. What have you been reading? Oh, history. I love history. The royal family of England because I am a descendant of Edward the first around the 1200 AD. Okay, so you've been reading in your tent, but at night you can't read because it gets dark. Yes. We put a call out to help you on that. We tried the other day, but what we, you know, what uh, Leona came up with wasn't going to work for you. God bless her for, you know, coming up with something. Yes. And since then we came up with something else, and it wasn't me that did it. Is it Danette Steele? Uh, Danette Steele? I can't read your handwriting. Yeah. <laughs> I think so. We lost some of the names, but in, if it was, in, you know, in, some of the uh, names got shuffled up. But this is from Danette Steele, or something came in from Danette Steele. We think this is right, and we want to present it to you. I think you're gonna like it. What do you think of that? Oh, I love it. Oh, I gotta try <laughs> it out and see. Yeah, let me loosen up. Let me loosen up. Yeah. Let's do it. Oh so just boy! Put it, like, put it like that, and then hit the white button. Oh, okay. Let's see how that goes. Oh, this is a ticket. Oh yes. So you got light. You can hold it down longer, and it probably gets brighter. You can tilt it to how you want it, so you don't have to tilt your head. Oh, that's oh. a flashing light, just in case you needed a flashing yeah. light. See, like if you're on a bicycle. See, I'm reading. So you got a reading light. You got a bright light for if you're going to the bathroom and it's dark out. Yeah. You got them all. You got them all. Oh, well, thank why? you for hitting up that wish list. When you guys do it, it really means something on the other end. So thank you. So if thank somebody, you. you're welcome. If, if somebody has housing for Buckeye, they can email you, Jamie, and we can Enigmatic introduce them. Nomadics at gmail.com and just let me know what your situation is. He does have a, an income stream, so you know there's something that can be worked out on that. We want him to have a place to stay, but you know also have funds for living his life and everything. And yeah, I think it's going to be. Uh, like a low impact on your situation for him to be there. So um, I just want to say Buckeye can live independently, wants yeah. to live independently, but needs a family to adopt him and he could adopt them. He would be so good and I know how much the community loved you, Buckeye. Yes, I love everybody. God bless us all and everyone and each of us by Tiny Tim.
<laughs> <laughs> All right, hey, we can't, we can't stop that. We'll see you on the next upload.